Hello, it's getting cold out here. Cold weather means cold fit. So here are eight outfits that I've been rocking lately. Let's break it down. For this first outfit, there's going to be zero colors. Grayscale is one of the easiest ways to always dress well and it brings you back to the basics. Because sometimes restricting yourself allows you to be the most creative. And that is for another video, but let's start with the main piece. The collaboration between GU and Undercover. So this is the Cosmic Noise Crew Neck Sweatshirt and I think it looks awesome. I'm not really that big into graphics on shirts and all that, but this one is tastefully done. It's also very cozy, but it can get itchy. So that is why I have a white underlayer shirt underneath this allows some contrast to break up the fit a bit you know you get the white popping out of the collar area as well as the waist area which is a very subtle detail but you notice it and it's also much more comfortable because this crew neck is a little itchy and it keeps you even more warm the pants are the needles tokyo hd cargos the definition of balloon fitting pants i think it pairs really well with this fit to make it more of a lounge fit you know for me it's brainstorming video ideas and all that i think this fit embodies that we also have the 1587 sneakers with the hint of gray suede to follow that theme then a corduroy sling bag also from GU which has a subtle touch of texture to the fit white cap from Lululemon some jewelry from Lupin and a matching watch so this is the Seiko SNX G47 with the white face overall an easy fit any of y'all can pull off and because there's no color to these pieces you're definitely gonna wear them a whole lot more which means you're gonna save a lot more money in the long term for our next fits we're gonna go a little more colorful so our main piece is going to be this blue crew neck from Abercrombie this has a nice oversized fit and I did go true to size which is a size medium i love the subtle details on this that makes it stand out a little bit more than just a plain crew neck now here's a pro tip for y'all anytime you want to wear a colored top and you want it to work 99 percent of the time pair it with white pants think of this like these album covers right here the white just allows the color to stand out and do its thing now black can work as well but it's just different anyways the white cargos are from gu it's been one of my favorite pickups of the year very roomy has these nice pleats that bring it to the casual streetwear side and white and blue just feel so pure and cozy now there's some side to this blue is actually a color that is more trustworthy credible that's why a lot of phone apps and social media uses blue as their color which is why your real friends have blue bubbles and the green ones you should watch out for that <laughs> now but for real i attribute it to the sky and nature right white clouds blue sky it's just very peaceful so i took inspiration from nature applied it to a fit and we're going to follow the same theme with this cap right here from abercrombie it's a white cap with the blue brim and of course this fit is more suited towards early fall it's not a very warm fit but fall has a lot of nice warm days and of course we got to top it off with my favorite jewelry brand lupin the sponsor of today's video so fellas i've been telling y'all for years lupin is the best jewelry brand out there i've been wearing their pieces for several years already because it is that premium which is why i designed my own collection a beautiful collection called the ascend collection we have this very attractive and minimal necklace as well as this signet ring and time and time again y'all these pieces keep selling out we restock it they keep selling out these are selling like hotcakes and y'all are the ones buying in i appreciate it i see y'all looking all fresh and cute anyway so i deliberately chose to work with lupin because they don't skip out on quality every single piece is handcrafted in korea from 925 sterling silver that's the good stuff but anyways the minimally designed pieces can go with any outfits you guys are already seeing it throughout the video which means more savings for your wallets take a look at my ascend necklace you can wear this in a more streetwear leaning outfit or a nice date night outfit i also love being able to stack these two rings right here the trigram and the together ring because it doesn't matter what piece you get from lupin it's always going to elevate your fit that much more every time i top off the fit with a lupin piece i just feel super confident I get the most compliments on my Ascend necklace and this signet ring right here, of course, designed by yours truly. But I also get a lot of compliments on their train wreck chain right here. You have their tough luck ring, which has this rugged minimal look. You can't go wrong with any piece from Lupin. And I know y'all would get the same compliments as well. So for you guys specifically, you guys can get any piece at a discount by clicking that first link in the description. The discount code will also be down there as well. So once again, head over to their site, browse around. I know y'all are gonna find something that you'll like. And trust me, you won't be disappointed. Again, there's a special discount code for y'all right down in the description. If you're gonna pick up any of my Ascend pieces, better hurry up, because they always sell out. So thank you, Lupin, for sponsoring this video. Let's move on to the next fit. And so that is two crew neck fits. Crew necks are massively underrated because it's overshadowed by the hoodie. So not as many people would have this as their fall essential. So it's worth picking one up. So now we're gonna move towards a more Asian streetwear type of fit, which I think is perfect for this type of weather. 
And the piece that will tie this all together would be the Rosen Plank shirt. So Rosen is one of the brands that just doesn't miss. It is a very pricey brand, but it is handmade and you can get it custom tailored to you, which is exactly what I did with this shirt. And I just, I just love this piece. From the split hem with different lengths to the contrasting buttons to the high neck collar, this is just a very attractive garment. To complement the shirts, we are gonna throw on these Japanese inspired Hakama pants by Traject by Idol Idol, which is another made to order brand. And the shape on this, the amount of pockets, it just looks awesome. So our footwear of choice are these boots right here from Guidi. This is the 310 model. Got the zipper up front, clean look. Every time I throw on these boots, I always feel much more fashionable. Of course, you can just stick with some Doc Martens if you wanna stay budget friendly because the price of these boots are gonna make you cry. And to top it all off, I'm rocking the Tissot PRX, a beautiful watch. And then we have Lupin's watch bracelets, the Tough Luck ring, which I feel really complements this fit, and just a simple Carhartt cap. This also so happens to be a grayscale fit. You guys see how easy it is? Now we're gonna keep to the coat theme, but let's keep it a little more technical and functional. So this is a fit I wore in Vail, Colorado. I also wore this in the Shy bike riding. But first, let's start with our base. So we have basically a classic now, the Nike Lab ACG Deploy Cargos. I still wear these cargo pants all the time, even though it's on the slimmer side. Footwear wise, I'm rocking the A Cold Wall collaboration with Converse. This is more of a sneaker boot and it just pairs so well with these cargos. I've been wearing this pant and shoe combination for years. Even though the trends have changed and have moved towards a more wider fitting approach, which you guys have already seen, I'm already indulging in. But when you wear something that isn't technically in trend anymore, especially going on years and years, that's how you know it's part of your personal style. For the top, we have a crew neck from Lululemon. It's super comfortable and has a nice textured look and of course my signature gray beanie from Amazon. Now for our main piece, this is the Nike Every Stitch Considered Parka and I got this well below retail brand new. You see, I don't know what Nike was thinking of but these released at 800 bucks. Every Stitch Considered was crazy when it first came out. I believe that's why the prices fell. It didn't perform very well. So really anything Nike Every Stitch Considered is worth picking up on the secondhand market or on eBay. You can get them brand new or used because the resale value isn't there but the quality is. I believe this parka was constructed in Italy. It's super functional, looks really nice, good quality hardware. You can't beat a piece like this. And it even comes with a sling that you can sling around your back for whenever it's cold in the morning and then it starts to warm up. You can take it off, throw it around your back and you can carry it throughout your day. So yeah, this is an awesome piece. It's great for daily commuting, especially if you live in an urban city. Like when I was in Chicago, I was just riding a bike with it, commuting. But for when it gets much chillier, I would throw on this Wonder Puff vest from Lululemon. It's a little bit pricey, but it does look nice and it's very functional. Functional, water repellent, super warm, and comes with extra pockets. Now, if you want a more affordable piece, I would suggest going with Uniqlo. And yes, you can throw a vest on top of another jacket. This is gonna give you additional texture and layering, and it also keeps you warm. But also, you know, whenever it gets mad cold and your nose starts to like itch and stuff like that, that's what the neck gaiter is for. It's an uncomfortable feeling, I always hate that. So that's why I always wear a neck gaiter. You can wear it over your face or not, it depends on you. If you don't wear it over your face, it just looks like a high neck collar shirt, which just adds additional texture and then of course, whenever it gets cold, throw it over your face. Now, jewelry-wise, to complement the overall theme of the fit, I'm gonna go with this ring right here. This is the Level Up ring from Lupin. It's got a very angular design, which I think suits this fit perfectly. So yeah, this fit is super warm and cozy, but also quite functional. If I get hit with some light precipitation, some snow, I'm gonna be chilling. Now, up next is something that leans a little bit more towards Asian streetwear, and that is this fit right here. It starts with the ultra-wide cargo pants that I talked about earlier, the Needles Tokyo HD Cargos. We have some Rick Owens, which I think really complements these pants. And for up top, just two pieces, the oversized dress shirt from 3.3 Field Trip. I know y'all ask about me all the time. It's hard to find online. I got it from a store called A-Land in the American Dream Mall in Jersey. So all those in the East Coast, you should check out that store. But other than that, pretty hard to find. There are alternatives out there. You just gotta look for it. I've seen some pieces from Top Man and other fast fashion brands. I wish I personally bought more of these. And to add more texture and a pop of color, we're gonna roll with this green corduroy vest that you can get from Top Man. Yes, they are still around. You have to go to Nordstrom online or in store, but really any colored vest is going to work with this outfit. We also got a gray beanie and this is a very chill outfit. A vest and a button up is something I never thought would go well together, but it has to be an oversized button up because the slim fit ones, you're going to look a little funny. Okay, let's get back to some more colors, shall we? So this fit is very similar to the outfit with the white pants. However, this does feel much more like an autumn outfit. And so here it is, very simple, but eye-catching because of the flannel. And this flannel is very attractive. It's from Abercrombie. It's called the 90s flannel. You got some cool details.
details on there, a corduroy collar. And I love the colors that they use. The red isn't like a blood red. It's not as bold or saturated, so that makes it much more of a versatile piece. And I think it pairs perfectly with these trousers from Olive Clothing. Very wide, relaxed fits. I love the simple pleats, and it just looks so good with this flannel. Oh yeah, and underneath we have the gray popover hoodie from Abercrombie as well. It's a very cozy piece, and Abercrombie has a ton of colors that's going to suit anybody's taste. And then we got some Air Force Ones. This one is constructed of a cream leather with burnt orange red suede, and I just feel like it pairs really well with these trousers. And the cap, just a simple two-tone cap from Kith. I think white caps are very underrated. I know they get dirty easily, which is why it's not worn as much, but they pair really well with fits on the lighter side. Just imagine if I paired this with a black cap, it just doesn't look as good as it would with the white cap, unless my base outfit was black. So that's a little pro tip for y'all. If your fit has a lot more lighter colors, wear a lighter caps. If it's more black, darker colors, stick with the black cap. Now our next fit is for a date night. The base of our outfit starts with this oversized button up from 3.3 Field Trip. Our trousers are from H&M that I got a few years back. It's a very slim fit with a slight flare at the bottom. And then we have black Chelsea boots, the stackable rings from Lupin, and of course, Maya said necklace. Our timepiece of choice will be the Orient Bambino, a classic and very affordable dress watch. And we're gonna top the entire fits with this coat right here from Uniqlo called the Chesterfield Coat. I think this is one of Uniqlo's best. It's made out of 90% wool, 10% cashmere, and you really can feel the quality compared to their synthetic ones, which I still like, but this coat just has that look. Obviously, this is probably lower mid-entry in terms of coat quality. You can get a lot more tailored ones that are custom made for you, but that's a very niche audience. But for most people, this coat is all that you need. Now, our final fit, easy. Any of y'all can pull this off. We're gonna go grayscale with just a slight pop of color. So we have these fried rice cargos. These ones have straps to it. I tied it into a sash just so that it flows as I walk. We have those same 1587 sneakers, a white shirt, this slate gray flannel from GU, and some jewelry from Lupin. So I have the train wreck chain and some other rings. And for this fit specifically, I feel like you gotta wear a chain. Here's what it looks like with the chain versus without. Something just feels like it's missing. You see, fellas, chains are that important. Anyways, our pop of color only comes from the headwear that we choose. So I have this green cap from Amy Leon Dore. And to switch it up, Let's try on this burgundy beanie. And this is a sample, by the way. Also looks really good in this outfit. If you want, you can stick to black headwear. However, try throwing on a colored sling bag as your pop of color. You see, there's plenty of ways to get some clean fits with just a simple pop of color. And if you're not as comfortable with wearing big, bold, colorful pieces, these colored pieces are a great stepping stone to start to gain more experience with color in general, just so that you get a little bit more comfortable over time. And then you can move on to the bold colored pieces. And that is eight of my latest outfits. Let me know what your favorite was in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly, check out Lupin. Deuces.